privilege to introduce to you the next congressman from the 8th Congressional District, Mr. Pete Stauber. I pledge allegiance to this flag. And if that bothers you, well, that's too bad. But if you got pride and you're proud to do, hey, we could use some more like me and you. Well, good morning. That's better, awesome. On behalf of all the dedicated and hardworking GOP activists in the 8th Congressional District, we welcome you to the beautiful city of Duluth and the home of college hockey's Division I national champions, Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. For those of you who I have not met yet, my name is Pete Stauber, and I'm running for Congress in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District. Because I love this country, I love our freedoms, and I love our Constitution. These things, these things are worth standing up and protecting. I will work hard to reduce the burdensome federal regulations so our small businesses and entrepreneurs can flourish and live the American dream. I want you to keep more of your money and will work to reduce Washington's impact on our everyday lives. And of course, like you, I will stand and protect the unborn. I will preserve our Second Amendment. And I will make sure we keep our promises to the military and our veterans. I recently retired from the Duluth Police Department after 22 years, and right now I'd like to thank all the men and women in blue who keep our country and our neighborhood safe. Thank you to law enforcement. I'm currently serving my second term on the St. Louis County Board of Commissions. As stated earlier, my wife Jody is an Iraq War veteran. And she recently retired from Duluth's 148th Fighter Wing after having been named its first female command chief. <laughs> Jody and I live in nearby Hermantown with our four children and three dogs. <laughs> you know, as many of you know, the 8th District is blessed with an abundance of God-given natural resources. You know, we all enjoy and will protect the greatest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior. This is our home. I will support our loggers and their ability to practice sustainable forest management, and I will support our farmers so they can compete in any market in the world. And I support iron ore mining, precious metals mining, and Enbridge Line 3, and there is not a Democrat in this race that can make that same statement. <laughs> mining supports our economy, our economy supports a good job, and a good job supports Minnesota families. You know, before I conclude, I want to leave you with one thought. Other than my good friend Chip Cravac's term in Congress, Minnesota 8 has been blue for 72 years. 
72 years. This changes now. Our blue collar common sense conservative message is resonating throughout the 8th Congressional District. So let's make the 8th District red again and let's make the entire state of Minnesota red again. Thank you for your hard work and commitment in growing the conservative cause in our great state of Minnesota. And as your endorsed candidate for the 8th Congressional District, I so much appreciate all your hard work and the hard work you're still willing to do to help our country. May God bless you. May he continue to bless this great state of Minnesota and the greatest country on earth, the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.